Here we go. Alright, this here is a treadmill motor. It's a permanent magnet DC motor. There's a centrifugal switch. In here. And the fiberglass keeps, just keeps the rain out my motor and out of my switch. There's some leg stand. Got 240 coming in. Then it comes in through this guy. Blue and black. Goes through all this crap. This memory switch. See? Um, what activates it is my top button. Right here. This dis dis disengages it, see? Activates, deactivates, see? Boom. Alright. In there is a potentiometer and DC control and a transfer switch for my second relay. So, this activates this, which turns this on. When, when this gets this up to speed, that switch flips and activates that guy, which disconnects this and activates this, keeping this going. Okay, so let's hit the button. Little guy takes off. Switched over. Little guy's light on is deactivated, holding in the big switch. Okay, when you kill power, it disconnects the first breaker, killing power to the whole system, including the DC control. If you bump this really fast, I have power in and DC controls on. But DC has to reset in order for that motor to kick on. Okay, that's why you have to press. Okay. You hear how if I hold it in, the motor quits? That's because it has, it has to, um, it has to reset power to the DC control as if the motor was just turned on after the power comes on for that, in order for that little motor to take off. The output is a three phase. I have 200, 120, 120, but across them is 230, 230, and 230 but it's 200 by itself. But that's it, I have a capacitor bank. That's the black box in the bottom, which I didn't insert that real, real good. The capacitor bank makes my third leg a true leg.